So for anyone who uh, has an Instax wide 300 or even a 210, uh, might work. Um, when you first bought the camera, maybe you were disappointed that it didn't have a uh, self timer. Uh, so after having this camera for a couple years, I came across this uh, Polaroid. Um, it's a model 192 timer from the thrift store. It's just a self timer that came off a of old land camera, uh, probably from the 50s or 60s. Um, but this little contraption, I'm just going to sh I'll show you kind of how it works first and then I'll take it off. Um, but once you power on your camera, um, well, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to waste a photo. But once you power your camera on, um, you twist this little guy. I'll just kind of show you how it works. Make sure it's centered on your shutter button. And then when you push it, it's a mechanical timer. And that's it. Um, so showing this to you, I will crank it back again. So when it's on the camera, what's actually happening is towards the end of the timer, just that little plunger will come out and smash down your shutter button, which will take the picture. Um, I actually sh I used a hacksaw and I cut off maybe the back eighth of an inch or so. Um, and I literally just kind of hold it on there with a little rubber band. Um, I was able to take a picture and it worked great. Um, so yeah, these you can find on eBay for pretty cheap. I, I paid probably five or 10 cents at the Goodwill Outlet Way and Pay store uh, in Canton. Um, but yeah, that's it. And it's just, a, you know, it just kind of fits right over that, uh, power toggle. And, uh, I found it easier to obviously, uh, crank it up before you put it on the camera. Um, if you have a strap, the strap might get in the way. Um, but once it's finagled and once it's on there, uh, just make sure it's strapped down pretty good, and that's it. So, uh, enjoy.